Government cheese was a true story. It was about a welfare gold digger bitch. And it went a little something like this. The permission was loving, hugging, and kissing. So the chick we slid her back pocket and realized her EBT card was missing. From that moment on, everything came to a cease. No longer was she getting freaky, she wanted a house she was gonna eat. It was beautiful in the beginning, hell, we started off straight. Till she told me she didn't have a job, but she lived on Section 8. So I went to her apartment, she had all types of nice shit. But who can't afford to buy like control when you pay $10 in rent? Tell her baby shit floating through the air without her diapers in the trash. I'm gonna change her son's diaper, she'd have wipes to clean his ass. Took my kindness for a witness, only to find that I wasn't the one. Thought she could start a ready made family, maybe the father to her misguided sons. Sure enough, she might have been tight as shit, but her attitude messed her up. It could have been a tight ass relationship, but her girl was only out for bucks. Like this one particular night, she said we'd go out and hit the club. So I took her to the ATM, already found she had insufficient funds. So I took her to the club anyway, ended up paying away. It was a club I'd never visited before, called Sokies, and everybody was gay. Got the hell up out of there, proceeded to be on our way. It was a modern day glimpse of hell, and no girl was trying to make me stay. So I started getting hungry, she said, but her out, it's all on me. So we went back to her apartment, she made Rotel to government cheese. Always say to her, she insists and claimed that she aimed to please. Then she asked for $10, because she spent the real money on the sack of weeds. So after this night was over, I never called this chick again. Like I told you in the beginning, it was about a welfare chick gold digging. So to those of I'm offended, please don't be too mad at me. And don't leave in too much of a hurry and forget your block of the government 24 cheese. 24-7, yeah. 365. Love is spelled M O N E Y. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. Good luck and they sit to a chick if you can't pay the rent. No matter how good you bang a ticket, all boils down to dollars and cents. She does no romance without finance, no honeys without money. A chick won't give you the time of day if your change is strange and your money's funny. Today's love is measured by paper sacks of greenbacks. Navigators nice for free so to escalate Cadillac. See, there's no level when you broke flat. A chick a holler at an ugly motherfucker cause his pockets are fat and he's spinning like that. Today's love is spelled M-O-N-E-Y. Why ask why is this the way in the world? 24-7, 365. And I'm padded up to here with chickens. Expecting the brother to break bread cause he got legs and let him hit it. Understand that the whole scheme is bitch made. After sex, he talks about bills that ain't been paid. Hired son in new pair of J's. I was on a quest for true love, only to find that every time I was with a woman, I spent something that was nothing but time. Whether it was money for a hotel room or drinks at the bar. So she was asking for renting a note to her car. If you was really about something, you would get the shit yourself. Stop holding your hand out, feeling like depending on someone else. I don't say this a dog on women, but only those is peace supplies. But the truth is, most women spell love like M O N Y. Love is spelled M O N Y. When I see you face to face, you a cold case. Wouldn't catch me in the first 48, gone without a trace. I'm a criminal mind with intent. With no respect for law and order, I plead the fifth. I ain't telling you shit. They couldn't catch me with blues, clues, tip lines, or a news crew. Niggas be on that bullshit, sit to your face on the news, dude. You famous overnight, bitch, niggas, you so right. More drama than so proper, don't walk to the guy's light. I was talking some shit. I was like, really talking shit. Bring more drama than so proper, don't walk to the guy's light. Nigga, tell motherfucker, don't walk to the light. Nigga. That's that bullshit. <laughs> Oh, I got one. That's my song. All right, I took a whole bunch of people's songs and came funky like, this is my confession. I had it bad until I let it burn, but you live and you learn. Everybody plays the fool in life, only a way to turn. See, I played with fire and got burned. So who make the song? Eventually, I left their ass alone. See, I once knew a woman who turned boys to men on bent knees. A tutor like Freaky D kept niggas falling like Alicia Keys. So now I treat the bitch like Gwen Stefani, ain't no holler back. So if you ask me what's a woman's worth, then I would have to think about it. See, we met on the internet. My computer loved my secret lover. AOL brown sugar, but she was barely past the juvenile when she backed that thing up. So now I'm feeling like R. Kelly because I fuck. Because I got her writing four page letters about rocking the boat and twerking the middle. Stepping in the name of love like happy people. But I'm feeling more like you remind me of a rental. So now I'm mobbing down the freeway, bumping Rick James. Mobbing with a super freak, smoking Mary Jane. Feeling like every day is Friday, man, let's get smoked out. Did you understand the words that be coming out my mouth when I say that's my song? Man.